Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to A Legionary's Life, a uh, role-playing game, and almost a text-based, but not quite a text-based adventure type of a game, which allows you to play through the Punic War, the Second Punic War, as a Roman soldier. Uh, our current care, and it includes uh, permadeath, so once you die, you have to start all over. There's no saving, uh, there's no loading a save once you've already died. Um, this is a pretty interesting game that really focuses around you sort of training your character up and then being given a variety of um, combat situations and a variety of decisions that influence whether you survive or move forward. It's pretty challenging. It's in early access. It's developed, I think, by a single guy, uh, maybe a couple, but uh, it's a pretty interesting looking game. And we are currently in the North African campaign, so we successfully... Uh, made it through the campaign in Spain, and we are moving into the North African campaign. We have just landed on the beaches of North Africa. We have uh, fought the first battle in North Africa, and we are now uh, moving toward the second battle, or the second phase of this second campaign. So far, we have been a true butcher. We have killed quite a few people. That includes six militiamen, five Libyan light infantrymen, two bandits, uh, seven... I'm not even going to try and pronounce this. Essentially, we've killed a lot of dudes. Uh, we have killed 20-plus enemy soldiers by ourselves, as well as a couple of... Uh, uh, shared kills with our fellow soldiers. We are very well liked. The troops have a very high opinion of us. It's all the way up at the top. The Centurion, who's in command of our, I think it's uh, cohort, uh, is also very uh, fond of us. The Proconsul has a moderately positive opinion of us, but he doesn't really know who we are. Our character has also, whoops, our character has, ah, our character has also been promoted to the rank of Opito, so, or Optio. Uh, so originally we just basically started as a grunt, uh, then we became a Tesserarius, and now we're an Optio. Uh, we were just promoted after the end of the last battle. Um, we are second in command of your century. Uh, in battle, you keep in line uh, in the rear of your maniple and will take the centurion's place at the front when needed. Uh, that means we make about 135 uh, per pay period. We're in the Principes line, which is the second line of troops. The Hastahadi are the front line, the Principes are the second line, and the Traharii are the third line, or sort of the guard forces. We have a pretty strong character with 78 strength. I've never seen any attribute quite that high, so that's a very strong character, actually. Our endurance is 64, which is reasonable, but not amazing. Constitution is 53. That's what your health is. That could be better. Quickness is 55. That could also be better. Coordination, 62. Charisma, 63. Awareness, 60. And intellect, 53. Meanwhile, our combat skills are pretty well balanced. 64 sword, 63 shield, 62 javelin. And our secondary skills of longsword, polearm, and axe mace are 57, 44, and 44. I don't really know how these factor in, other than I'm guessing like if I get a special weapon like a longsword or a polearm or a or a mate or a axe or a mace maybe we can actually use that or something like that now we are at the start of this new uh period or this new campaign um we're also moderately virtuous and our morale is very high so i think if i take a look at my character the areas i really need to focus are constitution and quickness quickness influences how many times i can attack relative to the enemy and constitution obviously impacts my overall health so I am going to focus on those. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of training with sword and shield. Now that I'm really popular with the soldiers, I can actually take advantage of that. So, for example, we can focus on offensive sparring, and we can look to have the best uh, potential opponents when we spar. So we have to have a very high opinion with soldiers, but they do have a very high opinion of us. So we go here and jump sparring against the best. Um, it looks like uh, for extra training, but most of the times nobody's available. Your sporadic training is ineffective. You are well liked enough to have a high chance of success. Okay, so that didn't seem to do much, but then we did it again, and we got sword and shield skill increased. So basically, that's that seemed to take a lot of time to just do those two. Um, so now we'll go ahead and leisure. We'll play. Oh, geez, this must be a short turn because this is time is running out pretty freaking fast. Oh, great, we're put in charge of another forging uh, party, so we have to go out and find supplies. Looks like there's three villages up here straight ahead. Not a ton of mountains. So hopefully we can uh, we can get up here and uh, not waste too much time. Uh, you definitely want to be mindful of the terrain that you're passing through, uh, and that influences how much time things take. Additionally, things like ambushes can occur, which can slow you down further. Uh, terrain can slow you down pretty considerably as well. I think four slow you down a little bit, but not a ton. Um, so go ahead and collect resources there. And then obviously collecting the resources themselves also takes time. 
You have just left the village behind when the sound of hoofbeats coming fast sets your heart racing. You make your men close ranks and move to easily defensible position before it's too late. The Carthaginian heavy cavalry are few in number. They come to a halt and watch you from a distance. A frontal charge when you when uh, you are ready to receive it would be suicidal, and they know it. They shadow you for a while, but won't dare attack. At last, they give up the chase. Okay, so that was good, I guess. Um, we've already gone to this village, right? I can't do it again. Okay, so we're almost to full supply. This has actually been a relatively easy map, I think. So I think we've got to go over to this one over here. But there's not really any mountains like there were in Spain. So now we can go ahead and get back down to here. So let's just move across into the open plains. And in order to look around the map, you can right click. So you can kind of drag around the map. So we should have time to get back. Time to spare, really. Completed your mission to everyone's satisfaction. And the opinion of everybody goes up. Experience sharpens your mind. Charisma and awareness increase. Nice. Um, so go ahead and... I think we actually just played dice. So we'll go ahead and go back to workouts. We wanted to do strength and... No, I didn't want to do strength and constitution. I wanted to do quickness and constitution, but it doesn't look like I can do that. All right, so I got a little bit more constitution. Meanwhile, time is moving very quickly. Uh, your marching column... Uh, you leave your marching column to answer a call of nature. Warily, you pass through some shrubs that line the trail. Even with the column so close, you don't feel comfortable being here alone. Fortunately, nothing happens. You rejoin your group, trying not to think about the long distance is still to go. Okay, so it looks like we probably only have one more turn. We got a fair bit of money. Let's see if we can buy anything. So we're going to have to move on, but we probably can buy... This chainmail armor is pretty good. You can see torso and groin, actually better groin protection, better torso, has a little bit of leg protection. Damage protection is 14, anti-armor resistance 27, material quality is 2 versus 0, uh, value 777. I don't think I actually have enough money, or do I? Um, like if I were to sell, do I have anything to sell? Well, my, my crass would only give me 25, god damn it. So it's too expensive. It's just barely out of our reach. And I don't think there's anything else here worth buying. Maybe the Etruscan helmet? 86, 28, 25, 28, 13, 14, 40, 41, 4 versus 3. Honestly, what I have now is better. Well, that was a waste of a turn. So we'll have to go ahead and move on. In order to move on, we'll check our character here. We got our quickness up, or our constitution up 1. We got our sword skill up 1. We got our shield skill up 1. So, I mean, we made a little bit of progress. Sir Moose? Who's Sir Moose? You can't wait for me to fight an elephant? I actually have fought an elephant once before. Mainly, I just didn't do anything. Okay, has Drubal has managed to convince uh, Sifax not to give up on the war effort? With a display of enviable tenacity, uh, he has also raised another levy of soldiers. More interestingly, they were joined by 4,000 battle-seasoned Celtiberian mercenaries. Once again, Scipio leads you away from the city of Utica, leaving enough forces behind to maintain the ongoing siege. You come in sight of the enemy within days. You make camp on a hill a few miles from theirs. Save for the Celtiberian Scuderi, you are not worried about what is to come. Nobody doubts that at the end of the upcoming battle, Carthage will be one step closer to capitulation. Oh, hey, Moose Joss. Hope you're doing well. I didn't see your, your post there. Oh, there you are up there. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're in the Campi Magni in Africa. You can volunteer to scout the surrounding area if you wish. Ugh. J Street, what do you think? This is your character. We've made it this far. Do we volunteer? Uh, yes, Super Chacho. I'm going to play the hell out of Grand Tactics Civil War when it comes out. Hopefully, I'll even get a preview copy ahead of time so I can play it a little bit in advance. All right, we're going to volunteer. You leave camp with Publius Arius. Your, your introspective mate doesn't talk much. You meet nothing noteworthy apart from the occasional bit of local fauna. You're emerging from a patch of undergrowth when you see a Carthaginian soldier across a shallow brook right in front of you. 
He looks very young and nervous. He winces the moment he sees you and takes a couple of steps back. Two more are about 30 steps behind him. They must be part of Hasdrubal's most recent levy. <laughs> what? What is this, Indiana Jones? Scare him off with your display of swordsmanship. Just pull a pistol out and shoot him. Challenge him to a duel? What? <laughs> this is dumb. All right, we'll challenge him to a duel. Your virtue decreases by 5%. He looks back at his fellows, then at you again. He must have understood because he unsheathes the sword and starts advancing. He is clearly no match for a veteran like you. Well, I mean, that was just kind of dumb. Challenge him to a duel. Okay. Damn. So we threw a javelin at him, but it didn't actually do any damage. Okay. Um, well, it looks like we have to go for the arm or the leg. Let's see. The leg has slightly better damage. Groin will get a hit, but we probably won't penetrate the armor, so we'll go for the leg. Got a good hit there. He succeeded with his feint. Good on you, sir. Got another good hit there. Missed the soft spot. Maybe we can finish him off? Almost. Not quite. Alright, so we'll go for the arm. Oh, we missed! Alright, we'll switch over to the defensive, and we'll go ahead and recover. That failed. Recover again. I failed again! Come on, guy, recover! Alright, there you go. Alright, so we missed my head, thank goodness. We'll go for the arm. Got him! Maybe one more? Oh shit, don't want to faint. Arm again? Oh, he's almost dead! Not quite. Arm one more time. Got him! Alright, well we killed him. <laughs> I don't know why my virtue goes down. Why aren't any of these things worth anything? You take uh, the following spoils. Okay. This fellow's run away before they suffer a similar fate. Arius looks almost scornful. He says you shouldn't get excited over such an undemanding victory. Oh, come on. It was an enemy soldier. What, are we not supposed to kill him? All of a sudden, he seems to remember your rank. He looks away, keeping his mouth shut. The dead Carthaginian was very young, probably as long, young as you were on your draft day, when, you, when your land was growing desperate, uh, struggling to stall an overpowering invader. Uh, morale decreased by five. Come on! You are rewarded for each enemy you have voluntarily engaged and defeated. So I'm rewarded for killing him, despite my virtue and my morale and the uh, other soldier's opinion of me going down. If you can... You know, I'm just gonna... There we go. We got him, alright guys? We got him. Alright. The next day, a large skirmish flares up when Scipio leads the cavalry to harry the Punics and their allies. At first, you are holding the ground in support of the mo more mobile forces, but chaos ensues as the enemy launches a counter-strike. Light infantry is harassing your left flank, pinning you down. Ahead to your right, you notice a group of retreating velatites. They are in serious trouble. One of them lies on the ground, a grievous leg wound preventing him from fleeing. Two of his companions are desperately trying to hold off five Numidian foot soldiers. Velatites are skirmishers, poorly equipped for hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're about to succumb. Leave the formation and run out to their at their assailants. Yeah! J Street, we're going. We're going for it, man. Be a complete dick like Sobol. You cover the short distance as fast as you can. The Numidians shift their attention to you. Your virtue increases by 12. If it's going to go up by 12, to me that says this is going to be a tough fight. Oh boy. Three of Syphax's veterans? This is... This is not good. Hey, we got a good hit with the javelin though, so that's a good start, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so we withstood their first attack. Their armor is probably too... What is this up here? I don't know what that means. Um, so, toggle damn it. Let's take a look here. What can we... It looks like the torso actually has got a good chance against these guys. Their armor isn't terribly good. Oh, we can go for the head. Fuck! Switch over to shield! Oh, sweet. So that worked. Or didn't not work. I don't know. Um... Let's try and recover that. Fuck. No! I need some friends to come help me! Oh boy. They're fainting the hell out of me, man. I gotta be like on the ground off balance or something. 
Come on. Ugh. I got it. Oh. 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 Can we just recover already? There we go. 41. Armor absorb. Recover again. Fuck. There, okay, good. Good recovery there. Alright, so we can attack. Let's attack this guy. He's the most off balance. And... We'll go for the torso. Good hit. He missed. He missed. Okay. So we've already wounded this guy. Let's go for an attack on this one. Or are we better off going here? Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. Shift over the defensive. Recover. Ooh, good recovery. All right, so I think we're gonna recover again. Nice, double recovery. Okay, they all wanna recover, that's fine. Switch back over to the offensive. Go against the torso. Nice, good hit there. We can attack again? Let's go for another hit. Another hit, good. Keep failing. Finish him off. Fuck! Ugh. Fuck! I just want to finish this guy off. He's off balance. We should have a reasonable chance, but I just... My balance is too bad. Shit. Oh, no. I need someone to come to my aid, please. Let me recover. All right, so they're all recovered, so I can guarantee a successful recovery. Oh, wait. How many times do I get to move before I get to go again? They're trying to recover some of their fatigue. All right, so can we finish this guy off now? Please? Fucking A. I'm gonna die. I don't know if this, com like, will my compatriots come to my aid at any point in time? Is there any way to get some assistance up here? Fuck. Is there any point where this ends without me dying? This is 24 plus rounds. I've never seen a fight go this long. There's got to be a point, right? Like, there's got to be a point where they just run away. No! Fucking A, that was the best game I've ever had by far, and I threw it away! I threw it fucking away! Oh, man. Well, that was stupid. Never volunteer for anything. That's what this game really teaches you. It teaches you to never volunteer. That's a hell of a good score, though. J Street, you're on top of the uh, on top of the leaderboard there. Now this is where the whole permadeath thing sucks. <laughs> I can't continue. Uh. Well, guys, I'm sorry to end this series here, uh, but that's where it's gonna end. Um, maybe offline, I'll record myself playing this, and if I make it further, then I can turn it into a series. But this is like the third or the fourth time we've done a series and we've kind of ended up dying. And permadeath series make difficult series when you die this quickly. So um, 
you know, it's it's an interesting game. I really like a Legionary's Life. I think we will probably show more of it in the future as the game gets further along. Um, and uh, I'll probably continue to play, but I just I don't think it'll be um, something that will will show as another series for a while, at least unless I unless I do really well offline, and then maybe I'll record myself after the fact. But um, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy. Uh, the one question I would have for all of you is if I do this again in a series that I make it further, do you want to see the early parts of the series again? Or do you just want me to be, you know, jump in in the North African campaign and kind of say like, hey, here's where we're up, here's where we are, let's get up to speed and go from there. That's kind of my inclination is to start the series in North Africa so you don't have to see Spain for the third or fourth time. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.